Chicago Facity Scandal. Tournaments and inspiration embarrassing to Nigerians. Timmy Frank says, Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. A former Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Comrade Timmy Frank, had called on President Bola to number to stop embarrassing Nigerians with his desperate efforts to frustrate the release of his academic reductions from the Chicago State University, CSU. He wondered what Tenebu had got to hide, which prompted him to hurriedly appeal the judgment of a U.S. magistrate court that ordered CSU to release his academic records. Frank expressed his views in a statement issued in Abuja on Friday. Tenebu, according to a report by People's Gazette, had pleaded before a United States judge to save him from suffering severe and irreparable damage by placing an emergency hold on a written court order for his university records to be released. The president, through his lawyer, claimed that the damage he would suffer would be impossible to mitigate if the order directing the release of his academic records to former Vice President Atiku, Vice President Atiku Abubakar, is not delayed for possible vacation. According to the report, severe and irreparable harm will be done to Bola Tenembo if the records are released. Tenembo's lawyer had argued that an emergency appeal before Judge Nancy Maldona Maldonado of the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois in Chicago. If the records are released, harm will be done and cannot be taken back to the bottle, Tunable lawyer added. But Frank challenged Tunable to come out clean. The political activist said, and I quote, If you know you have clean academic records, why are you fighting to stop them being released? What severe and irre irreparable harm will you suffer if the records are released? According to him, due to Tunibu's desperate act in seeking to conceal his academic records and other legal issues surrounding his personnel, most world leaders are now avoiding him, and this has hampered his administration's much publicized investment drive abroad. He said, and I quote, For instance, his most trumpeted proposed meeting with American President Joe Biden during the United Nations General Assembly in New York was silently cancelled with no explanations from either Tunibu or Biden. However, we have it on good authority that Biden was warned by the U.S. Intelligence Committee to avoid such a meeting. Besides, Tunibu claimed to have gotten un on Tunibu claimed to have gotten untied Arab Emirates, United rather Arab Emirates, Dubai authorities to lift visa restrictions on Nigeria, but it has seen to be proven to be a lie. Frank called on Nigerians to own the fight to ensure that the president has authentic academic records and not leave the effort to an individual due to potential political and diplomatic damage it can do to Nigeria if glossed over. He said, and I quote, This fight should not be for Atiku Abubakar alone. Nigeria must rise up and demand to know the academic records of their president. Tunibu desperate attempt to buy time with his recent appeal is a huge embarrassment to Nigerians both at home and in diaspora. Why does the court's other release of Tunibu's academic records appear like a matter of life and death to the president? Tunibu, please stop embarrassing Nigerians through this do or die attempt to stop your academic record from being released. Nigerians are eager to know who their president really is. The more you fight to conceal your academic records, the more you damage the image of a country and its ability to attract investors who want to do business with genuine and trustworthy partners and not those believed to see have scalenters in their cupboard. Are Nigerians not entitled to know the authentic academic qualifications of their president? Frank called on the United States government and its institution to transparently adjudicate on this matter in the interest of Nigeria and not that of one man. We demand the Chicago court to urgently hear this appeal and make its findings known without compromising the integrity of the American court system, he emphasized. So this man in question, he's so scared. Now we see them tell us so we don't know how true this one day. He's so scared. He's saying they should not release, you know, his document, his academic document. And I'm asking, what could be the thing? Say they get masquerade for that place. Huh. I have said it before. If you tell a lie, you have to tell ten lies to cover the first lie you told. That is the situation here, but I'm not surprised. But I'm so surprised at the desperation, unguarded, unintelligent comments of some people on these issues. The unforeseen calamity that may befall the CSU and Nigeria as a country and Nigerians if the FBI has the complete details of everything about everyone involved in this. 
reputations, credibility are gone. May Almighty God save us. That time, when did they talk this thing before election? And no, uh, they don't want to pay because it's a southwesterner, because it's a this. It goes on clear for everybody's eyes. Imagine a man getting a private investigator to probe CBN, yet he cannot allow his certificate to be verified. It is exactly what the Bible says, removing a speck from another's eyes while you have a log in yours. Escobar, Baba Oluwole, uh-uh, we should calm down. The issue of this obedience time, you article requested for the U.S. Custom Post-CSU to release academic records of PBAT to number is a full man. Going through the comment section 95%, Okay, going to the comment section, 95% of those commenting negatively about the certificate issue are the Igbos, the region where Obi come from. Obi could not tender his third class degree in philosophy certificate to INEC but tender GCE certificate. Why didn't he submit his degree certificate? Article clearly claimed he had diploma in environmental sanitation. sanitation. It is better to submit the genuine pre, pre minimum as prescribed by the constitution which is all level certificate than to submit a fraudulently acquired BSc from Harvard, Oxford, Cambridge, or Chicago. When will you grow up and become a man? People are commenting on national issues and you're talking about tribe and region. Too, too bad. It is a shame to all the Yoruba race that because of fame and power, they're supporting criminalities. Evil certificate forger conspiring against Nigeria by supporting evil. One thing I so much love with Papa God Almighty is that you cannot buy death. Moreover, when the time comes, your last place will be six feet below the ground. Shame on Turimbo and his generations, the Yoruba race, the Yoruba elders, the youths. Posterity will never forgive you all. Honestly, he shouldn't have contested for President Abini Shu to avoid all these hilarious moves of his. He has lost the respect he has. Not even a child of five years can call him to the because he has lost his place. <laughs> okay, well, my brother agreed that personal ambition is a killer. Emil Ocon, he is a criminal, but his criminal crookedly finds his way to power. There will be no peace for him. Okay.